Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming out in this rain. I'm Emily Akhtuzandi, Vice President of Atlantic Live. We bring the Atlantic's journalism to life on stages across the country, tackling some of the weightiest issues of our time. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Atlantic's second annual Heartland Summit. What is the Heartland? We asked ourselves this question when deciding to hold this program for the first time one year ago in Des Moines, Iowa and found the answer was surprisingly elusive. Is the heartland just another term for the Midwest? Is it rural America, non-coastal states, or something else entirely? The array of possible answers reveals something about the region, that its identity is changing and often in dispute. And the answer to this basic question informs decisions about the region's role today and its future. So today, we'll consider what the heartland really is. We'll hear about the role of journalism in answering those questions, about the new economy, about immigration, and more. And we'll hear from people and many perspectives and experiences. We won't cover everything, and we won't all leave with one shared definitive answer, but we hope you'll leave with a better understanding of one another's perspectives. And we really want all of you here in the room to be an integral part of the conversation. So we're going to begin with a quick poll. And the first thing we want to know is who is in the room with us, but also watching virtually on the live stream. Um, so answering this question requires a cell phone, which I suspect most of you have. So if you could take that out, and if you'll indulge me, take your phone out, and we're going to open a browser. If you could type in Slido, that's S-L-I-D-O dot com. Once again, Slido, S-L-I-D-O dot com. Hopefully everyone has that up. Great. And we're going to bring this up on the screen in a moment. And next type Atlantic Heartland, one word. So again, Atlantic Heartland, one word. Take a moment. Now, on your screen, you should see two options at the top. Questions on the left and polls on the right. So I think information has come up on one of the screens. Um, and we will use both features today. But let's start with polls. So if everyone could tap on polls and let's answer the first question together. This is actually pretty cool technology. And we're going to tally your answers live on the screens in a moment. And the first question is this. How would you describe yourself? Choose the answer that comes closest to you. Business professional, educator, expert, Etc. Great. Those are coming in as we speak. Very interesting mix of people here in the room. A lot of business and public analysts and government here and media, obviously. A very interesting mix of people, and I think knowing who the audience is gives us some meaningful context for the conversations that will unfold this morning. And one more poll question before we turn to our first discussion. What's, what is the biggest issue facing the heartland? Is it the economy, the urban-rural divide, demographic change, housing, climate change, or something else entirely? Keeps moving. Seems to be some consensus around the general urban-rural divide, but, but I think all of these are, are evergreen issues and ones that we'll touch on this morning. So we will be using this technology throughout our conversations this morning for Q&A, and we'll leave time for your questions after each session. So you can actually submit your questions anytime during the sessions just by tapping on the questions option on the left. And we also hope you'll join the conversation on Twitter at Atlantic Live using the hashtag Atlantic Heartland. 
And before we begin, I also want to take a moment to thank our underwriter for this morning, Wells Fargo, for making this series possible. So we're grateful for their support. Thank you. And with that, we're going to dive in. We'll begin with a conversation about the state of local journalism in the heartland and what it means for the region. So please welcome to the stage Louise Kiernan, Editor-in-Chief of ProPublica Illinois, Todd Franco, former editor of Youngstown, Ohio's The Vindicator, and Rebecca Colden, former publisher of The War Road Pioneer, and they're mm -hmm. here with journalist Susan Solney. So Susan, the floor wow. is yours. Wow. 